with the locking and throwing techniques, but working with the, the structure, not just in a sparring type thing, I throw a strike at him, he throws a strike at me. Now, when you hit a man, it has to affect his structure. We're not looking to, to grab a man and whip him into something. I'm looking to maneuver him through his structure. You feel that? Yes, sir. What do you feel? Pressure. Okay. Now, by the same token, if Eric were to punch at me, I don't want to come here because I haven't done anything to his structure. What I may want to do is when he throws a punch, is come here and steal his structure here. If he decides to grab my throat or something, I don't have to move. Watch my head. Oh, fuck. See? That's how effortless it is. Now, under realistic circumstances, that's fine. He can throw the punch and I can come here and be right here to hit him. I can do something with this arm. I mean, whatever I want. Now look at the structure. What do you feel? Uh, what do you see back. there? Oh. See? Now look at that. He can't help but fall. One more time. And then I'll show the striking to the, to the body. Ah. What do you feel? Straight to my back. I bent my spine. You bent your spine. And that could be here with what we call hijiwa. Oh. And it, it just it does what it does. Now, that's not guaranteed that he doesn't have three friends with him or there's not a wall here. I may get here and have a wall in my back. Now, I have to have an understanding of how to use my hips. If he grabs my throat and we're against a wall, I have to understand how to use a little bit of space in here to maneuver him. Now, he's against the wall. And I'll give an example of that later on. What we often do also is try to use chushin dori and take the center, where I'll come here, and I'm just touching. Always expect a second punch, though. Don't assume that you're going to get this. If I use hikite and draw that in, that other punch may come. And I have to be able to maneuver in such a way. Now, see, watch, it's stuck here. All I have to do is step. So, this is away from our jujitsu forms, uh, seke gata, we call them. They're very strict and precise. This is just application. I'm not talking about anything but application. Now I'll show that strike. If he throws a punch. Now, if you look all the way in through this door here, he's really locked up. This is real. The pain is extreme. Now I can do whatever I want here. You look here. And it's, it's his whole structure. This arm is seriously locked up. I can hit by his neck. So it's very important that you get into the muscle, but also off balance. You don't want to just pop this here and have him standing up straight. I'll come here and down into the muscle. Now, I have him in an unbalanced state, but it's not broken. I've only disturbed his balance. So he can rocket a punch right there. I have to be able to maneuver with that, you see, in this space. But once I have his structure, all I need to do is be able to move my hip to make that dissolve. You understand? So that's what I'm saying. When you come in and you put your hands around someone's neck, they're not going to want to do this like this. But what they can do, make sure you have this good here. Again, you're not letting me do that, right? But my legs can move in such a way. Now what do you feel? You see? I can knee your face, punch, cut. So I'm not gonna move and try a, a direct joint lock. What I'm gonna do is come through your body. I'm gonna use through your structure. What do you feel? Right away, yes? Yes, sir. All right.
plant your feet. Grab the neck. What I'm not doing is going to where you're strong. I relax my body and through my posture. What do you feel? What do you do? You feel anything? I feel the rocking motion. Okay. Now I take that through your body. What do you feel? Now what do you feel? Now watch this. Now watch when I step. What happened? I moved. So it's the same thing. So when you have a live situation, if he throws a punch and I come in with hijiwa, I expect that to come through. You see? I expect that to come through. I can hit him with an elbow. People think that these tie-ups aren't real. They're very real. But you got to learn how to destroy the muscle. I'm not worried about the technique. That was his eye. So initially when you come in, you learn to destroy the muscle. You learn to uh, destroy their equilibrium at the same time. And then their reaction will further put them into a precarious state. If we're here, and he throws a punch, and I come here with the hijiwa, that's what must happen. What I don't want is this, and he's fine. I want to learn to connect to something with a strike. Now, if he goes to disengage from here to turn to grab me or anything, as you see, I'm in his structure. No technical, that's what I'm trying to show you. Before, during, and after the lock, he's off balance. If he grabs my shirt and attempts to strike here, I'm not looking to block or touch this as much as I am to get into here, into his structure. If he throws a straight punch this side, nothing says that I have to attack here. Our view of, uh, of, of this type of material is it should be 360 degrees. No matter where I touch him, if I come here and hit him there, I want to create a spiral. See? But what I don't do is allow this, where he's stable, and I have to work against that. I'll come here, if he grabs my shoulder, I don't do what other people do. I don't feel the need to go and lock this right away. I'll strike this to put him in a precarious state. You see? Now he's locked out. So the striking is very important. Like, I'm not going to wrestle you. Look, you're bigger than my house. So what I'm not going to do is if you grab my throat, I'm not going to try to peel this off of there. Does that make sense? But what I will do is go through this structure that you got here and maneuver you into something. As opposed to me trying to do this, I will do this. You see? And out of courtesy, this is your first day, I'm not slamming you. But when you throw that punch, I'm not standing at the end of that half of the hand. That's what you're gonna call it. You're on probation, you got all kinds of nicknames coming. This hitting me, with that proper force path through the body, I'm done. So what I'm going to do is maneuver in such a way, what'd you feel? Oh, is that real? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm not going to do this. This is wrong. And let you have that structure. Man, if that hits me, I'm in trouble. So I want to go to your spine. Now I can bring this here, here, and control your hip with just my hand, just by turning my hip. See, look what's happening. You see? So that's how we break you down. But somebody would be a fool to grab you and attempt a joint lock. But what I will do is go through your structure. What did you feel? <laughs> now, do you feel how off balance you are? Oh, yeah. You know, you're very easy to move in this fashion. Stand up. I can't. You, you what? I can't. OK. Now, what? how tall are you? 6'9". Six, 6'9", nine. Six, nine, three, eight. Sure. So same thing. You learn to work these techniques against him, you'll blow through anybody 150 pounds. What you have is you have a nice mass and base, but right now you're carrying your body weight in an inefficient manner. Whether it's posture, breathing, and not feeling the connection. So what we're gonna to try to do is when someone grabs you, 
have it not be a situation where you feel the need to go through that. What did you feel? Oh, uh, off, like I was pushed away. See? And I was doing these to you earlier. Over here. You know? And it goes wherever. This has to be drastic. If he goes and put his finger in my face, I don't want to do what other systems do and create a lock where I'm trying to break this. One, if he's on PCP, he's not going to feel that. He draws a gun, knife, whatever. I'm in trouble. I want to go, you see, and keep him off balance the entire time. I can come here. You know, as long as he's off balance and I'm good. That was just a little joke I was doing there. Um, but when you're grabbed, you want to keep tension out of this area. And you want to learn how, what do you feel? Maybe move on See, strike, strikes here, strikes here. At any time, see? <laughs> so, very important. Back to the strike again, let's go back here. So, destroy what's coming in at you, but also off balance the whole structure. Now, what I don't do is I don't swing my arm. This. Again, we're back here again. Then, as long as I have this start, then I'm okay. Now, I don't always go to the outside like this. What do you feel? I don't always do that. Sometimes I'll come to the inside. Ah. Mm -hmm. See? 